What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis, of course, this is TWA Motorsports and today, yes, we are finally tackling one of the worst looking things on this truck and that is the headlights. Um, so, I, like I said in a video a while back, I've had a terrible time getting the brand that I like to use, which is TYC, and I'll list this stuff in the description down below. Um, just, you know, I guess COVID, I, I don't know, whatever. Uh, but either way, I've been waiting on this because this looks so terrible. Now, I haven't driven this thing much at night, so it hasn't really affected me much, but um, in keeping with trying to be on the cheaper side, so I'm just using things that I've had laying around or I'm buying cheaper stuff, um, not going all out, I chose to go with a cheaper set of bulbs from Sea Light. So we're gonna see how they perform in comparison with some of the other stuff I've used before. Now, um, as far as the daytime running lights, I just got some Zevos uh, for that. And then I do have some extra 194s that I'm going to be putting in the side. But as far as like the regular bulbs, like the turn signal bulbs, I'm just going to replace those with a stock um, like Phillips or just factory extra long life replacement. No LEDs going in the turn signals. Um, to be honest with you, I couldn't find something that I was looking for. Uh, you guys know I like the last fits, but I, I didn't really care for the, the they were going to ship. It was going to take quite a while. So either way, uh, we're going to be doing that. All right, so we got new headlights, new side markers down there, uh, obviously new headlight bulbs, and then you could see <laughs> my um, windshield washer fluid. It was, I keep getting a random light saying it's low, so we're gonna fill it up while we're under here just because I have it out here. Uh, but what do we need to do? Well, um, we're gonna put these in, and you guys have seen me do this before. Not too much of a job, but one thing I do wanna do is, I don't know if you notice, but you see the gray back there those bars that are supports for um, the radiator or the trans cooler, I want to paint those. So I'm going to actually take the grill out. Now, I don't necessarily think you have to take the grill out in order to do this whole operation, but I am going to take it out because I want to just shoot that with some, you know, Krylon, some semi-gloss black, uh, but I'll show you guys that when I get to it, Rust-Oleum, something, whatever I got around here, uh, just to make that not stand out so much it looks kind of tacky and it's just from wear over the years of bugs and whatnot hitting it this is pretty common especially when they have some miles on them but let's set you guys up on the tripod and let's start um i guess we'll start by taking this guy off here let's take these clip removers and this one actually isn't in all the way oh it's broke that's why um but you guys are probably wondering like don't you normally use ox beam well, I do normally use ox beam as far as bulbs go, but I did notice that on my buddy's truck that I did, golly, it's probably been a year ago now, and I did a video on it a while back, but um, when I put ox beams in his, they set a little too deep for these trucks, so I had to end up cutting um, behind, like into the plastic behind it, and I didn't want to go through that, and so I'm hoping that these are a little more shallow and we don't have to do that um at least trim anything that's what i'm hoping now they the lights may suck i don't know and i'll give you guys my honest opinion i'm i have no nobody's paying me to to put these on or anything like that so and i've always been honest with you guys anyway Any, anytime i've done something i tell like if a vendor reaches out to me and says hey we're gonna we want to sponsor this video or whatnot um I just straight out tell them like, look, I mean, I'll, I'll do it if I'm gonna use your product, but I'm gonna give an honest answer. So if they if it sucks, um, I just, I know that a lot of people recommend stuff and um, they don't really care. They're just getting it for free or they're getting paid to recommend it or whatnot. And I don't think they give you a truthful answer. And I, guys, look, I work for everything I have. And so um, I would sure hate for somebody me recommend something, somebody goes out and buys it, and then um, it sucks. And you're like, you, you know, that's just not fair to you because I work for my stuff, and I know you guys work for yours too. So, all right, let's see if we can pop this grill loose. Looks like it's just Legoed in, like most of them. And it is. We're just... Let me move you back so you can see a little better. I'm just popping these tabs loose. And I'm just doing it by hand. Let 
Now, as I said, you don't have to take this out. The only reason I'm doing this is this right here. That looks tacky. So let's, before we even do anything, I'm gonna go grab some paint and we're just gonna shoot that right there. It's not gonna hurt anything. It's, the wind's relatively calm here. Normally I would wanna tape a bunch of stuff off, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go grab some paint and let's spray that real quick. Of course the wind picks up when I wanna spray. I'm just using some cheap Rust-Oleum semi-gloss. Uh, the other thing guys though is if I do get it on here, I have not done any kind of paint correction yet. So I'll get any overspray off that I may get on here during that decontamination and clay bar process. Just trying to make it look a little nicer. And like I said, not be so pronounced when you're looking at the front of the grill. should be good that's gonna look a lot better just doing that all right so now we got that done let's pop these headlights out I'm move you over again so these are very similar to like the uh, green truck over there we flip this thing out of the way pull this little pin out set it up here and the headlight should come loose it lifts out of a little channel Let's go ahead and unplug these guys. No moisture or anything in them. And then right below that, you guys can see that also, there's a little push-in piece here and I'll show you once I get it out of here. I need to twist these and get them out. Three bulbs total. Um, this is what I'm talking about. You push this little clip in here. And so let's go ahead, let's yank our bulbs out too. We're gonna toss all these bulbs. Let's do the exact same thing on this side. things are toast so we've got our new bulbs here like I said I'm putting an LED here in the side because I have them and then because I'm using a regular bulb I don't know if it's true or not guys but they say not to use dielectric grease on a LED so I don't know if there's any truth to that let me know in the comments if you know Put that guy in and then our daytime running light we're using those zevos which i'll list down below i use those a lot they seem to last really well and i'm hoping not get as hot so let's go grab a housing now and we'll go ahead and twist them in because it's easy to pull it out we won't put everything back together uh, before we test uh, but let's grab a housing so this is what the housing looks like i chose to go with the originals here that's why I'm, I'm using a clear or a white uh, bulb. Let's twist them in. It looks so much better. It's crazy how bad these, or these lights look. Somebody made a comment the other day at the gas station. They're like, that's a pretty good looking truck, but those headlights are terrible. <laughs> I know. So we put this in first, we should be good there. Let's go put the other one in. Same stuff on this side. And I believe that the uh, LEDs aren't specific as far as the direction they go in. We'll just have to see. I don't 
think. I'm not sure if the turn signals will work with the um, headlights unplugged. Look at the difference here. I just got to show you guys. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? Now this thing's nasty dirty right now. Maybe I'll clean it up for the thumbnail for this video. Like I said, these TYC bulbs or housings, guys, they fit so nice. So we've got our bulbs, we've got our housings. Uh, the housings generally come with bulbs in them and they're Phillips bulbs, so they're not terrible. So if you don't want to upgrade to LEDs, you know, I can understand, but let's open this up and see. Oh, you know, that's good. It's always good when you get zip ties <laughs> with your lights. All right, so 9,005, that's gonna be your bright side, I believe. And then 9,006 is your dim. And so hopefully that's what we've got here. So we'll take the 9,005 out first. And we're not using that light anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. Let's see what we got, which is which here. Oh. They're way down on there. Okay, this one is nine thousand five and that's what we just took out that's good so these should orient straight up and down so the way we're looking at this light from the front it needs to look like this and I'm hoping we don't have to adjust them because sometimes that's a pain you see what I'm talking about how they're straight up and down they're parallel looks great all right, now let's take this other one out. And these are pretty, the fan's pretty thin on them. That's what I was talking about with the aux beams. Um, the last set, when I put them on my buddy's truck, I had to mess with this housing back here and make some room. So, all right, let's see if they're, this is a 9006. What was this one, 9005, I don't even remember. Yeah, so we're gonna put this one in the same exact way. And hopefully it lines up also and it does all oh, that is you don't even know how awesome that is okay so i do want to tell you guys if well actually i'm, I'm going to go ahead and put this in we'll plug it in and um, i'm going to show you exactly how you adjust them if let's say they don't come that way You are gonna have to kind of tuck this down in here. As you go in. But there's plenty of room back there, so don't worry. And then we need to get it in those cutouts. if our panel fit in now this is awesome because the lights are not hitting and I guess I really don't need to put this in yet because we need to test them but we'll just keep it from falling out okay let's go uh Let's go turn it on and give it a test. Okay, I lied to you guys. I'm not gonna test it until we get them all both in. So, 9006. Oh, I wanted to show you what I was talking about. So, underneath this little rubber grommet, there is a set screw. Can you see that opening right there? We'd have to move that out of the way, but that set screw allows you to pivot this piece right here so if it's not straight up and down that gives you the ability to put it straight up and down so all of your quality leds 
and even some of your cheapers should have that. So you can adjust them because there is a certain beam pattern and this is the best pattern is when they're straight up and down. They must have knew I was going to put them in this truck. Because the more expensive ones that I've bought weren't like that, guys. So maybe that's a good sign. Because these are by far the cheapest. I think they were maybe 60 bucks for both. These are the cheapest ones I've ever used. But they, it looked like they had a pretty good recommendation on Amazon. Let's give it a test. I'll pull back and we'll go flip. I gotta go grab the keys. We'll flip the lights on and see what happens. Start with blinkers here. Are they blinking? Okay, that's good. What about the other one? Okay. What about headlights? I think my switch and the dash is broken. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cover, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, I had this happen to me the other day. You gotta get inspections in Missouri and I couldn't get my headlights to turn on. I think that switch and the dash is broken and they work at night. So I'm gonna cover that little bulb on the dash and we'll see if we can get them to flip on. Now they want to come on. <laughs> That's how it works, guys. I think it's going to go back off here in a second. Yep, I knew it would once they got enough sunlight in that bulb again. But yeah, I'm going to have to replace that switch as well. But it looked like both of them were working. So I had my, my son's in there with his foot on the brake and it in gear. And it actually, the daytime running lights are working as well. So we are good. Now that we know they work, um, we can kind of clean up our mess here. I'm going to just fold this up so we can get the grill back in place and, you know, gives me some protection if I get a little clumsy. We're not scratching the new bulbs or the housings, I mean. So let's grab the grill. And you can see what I was talking about. There's a snap on the very corner and the outside of the fender, and then just four snaps. That's all that holds it together. Kind of crazy. I like starting with those first. We are in. All right, let's pull this plastic off. Unbelievable better. Isn't it crazy? Like wheels and headlights, guys. Two of the biggest cosmetic things that make a difference. So let's get that um, shroud back on as well. Okay, so I'm not really sure what the zip ties are for, unless maybe it was to tie up some of the extra um, 
that was on the back of those headlights. And I guess you could use them. I didn't. Let's snap this thing back into place. Need to get a new one. Because that one's busted. I may have to cut it off actually. I have to remember to grab a new one. You think with all these extra parts I got around here I'd have some, but I don't have any. So the last thing, well we need to do two things. First of all, remember I gotta fill this up with some windshield washer fluid. Because I hate lights being on. Oh, I hate it. Let's grab that fluid and pour in there. And then uh, we need to probably adjust these guys. There's only one adjustment and I believe it's up and down. Um, I, there's not a side to side on here, I believe, on the newer ones. Now the older ones, like my green truck, there's an up and down and a side to side. But on the older, or on the newer stuff, um, it's just an up and down. So we'll have to come out here probably when it's darker to do that. I bet you I'm gonna miss, guys. What do you bet? See how good I am. That was lucky. Got lucky there. Alright, now maybe my light won't come on. So, like I said, what a huge difference. And we'll come out here when it gets darker. And we'll take a look at how much brighter they are. But I'm pretty happy with the look. Just It just looks better, guys. But either way, um, and then look, at, look in the grill now. See how you can't see that shining uh, mess? Just looks a lot cleaner. Looks like this truck's been well cared for. But uh, this this does come, like I said, with zip ties. I guess it comes with some two-sided tape too if you wanted to stick those things like, you know, to something, maybe the radiator support or something. I generally don't do that uh, unless there's something, you know, gonna hit it somewhere, then I might. But as far as this goes, I think we're finished until it gets darker and then we will come out and we may set up some alignment uh, for this guy here because we are gonna need to probably move them up and down. I don't know how good they're gonna be aimed uh, right out of the box generally there is some adjustment that needs to be made they just kind of adjust them to max one side or the other to get them in the box but we'll come out here in a little bit and check it out so it's a little bit darker and um, i'm probably going to aim them a little later but i wanted to show you guys you know now that the sun's down it's gotten a little darker let's uh put the key in and see how bright they are Pretty substantial difference. I think they're gonna do pretty well. I'm, I'm kind of impressed, guys, for the cheapest LEDs that I've ever bought. Now, it's not quite dark enough yet, but it seems like they have a pretty good pattern. No aiming yet either. I'm gonna have to do, um, back when I had, I wanna say it was a Tahoe, I did the six on mod which it had fog lights. Maybe we'll add fog lights at some point, but um, I may have to do that to this truck too so we can get all four of those to light up with the fog lights on. That'd be pretty cool. But let's uh, let's go up top and aim them. I, uh, let me see if I can get this thing to... They should go out here. And then when we unlock it, yeah, there's the LED. Definitely not quite as blue, but they're bright. That's for sure, the running lights. Anyway, let's go aim these things. As you can see, we're out here. It's a little bit darker, but we need to aim these things or at least get them a little closer. So what you need to do is on your headlight, you will see a little dot 
Can you see that? Hopefully you guys can see that. Right there. You need to measure from there to the ground. Well, it happens to be that's 38 and a half, okay? And then we need to go 25 feet. You can see my tape measure there. We are 25 feet away from a flat surface, preferably a garage door. And the more level, the better. This isn't perfectly level, but it'll work. And so at that point, we made a mark on my garage door with some tape, and that is 34 and a half. So we go down four inches, 25 feet back. And I've got my adjustment here. And generally what I like to do, guys, let's uh, start this thing up. You can see how one side's a little further down than the other. We need to open our hood up. And we have an adjustment right here. You see this? That is our adjustment. And it's only up and down on these, like I said. So we're going to bring this one up. See it coming up to where it's just at that line. We're going to do the same with the other one here. All right, so where I want is I want the light right in the middle. And then I want the one on the driver's side just a hair lower for oncoming traffic reasons. So that's about right. Let me go up a little more on this side. That's about perfect. So you want your one coming into oncoming traffic just a hair lower. But we are set. Let's take a look around now that we're all finished. Definitely a better look, guys. Cleaned up the front of this so much just with the headlights. I've been waiting for these forever and uh definitely a better look and like like always guys i'll list all this stuff in the description i'm pretty impressed with these lights um for the cost um are there better ones absolutely um, i'm talking about the bulbs not the housings let's go to bright here but now we need to get some fog lights at some point i think it just looked really nice with the same kind of fog lights matching uh, at least going down the road But definitely a better look, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think it looks better? I know several of you are going to be like, well, you should have put LEDs in the bottom. And I might eventually. Um, but for what we're doing, I, I mean, you just can't argue. It looks so much nicer now. Uh, it just cleans up the front of the look of this thing. We need to do some touch-up, I know. And we need to do some paint correction. But uh, this truck's coming together. It's, it's a really good daily driver. I drive this thing every single day. Hasn't given me any issues whatsoever. Um, so I think we're just going to keep doing little things at a time and uh, eventually we'll get it to, you know, kind of what I want it to look like for a daily driver. But guys, if you did enjoy this video, like always, please smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are not subscribed, go down there, smash that subscribe button. Of course, ring the bell icon that notifies you every single time we drop a new video and stay tuned to see what we do on this truck next.